everyone, and welcome back to American Truck Simulator with another myself, Texas Star. As you can see, it's kind of early in the morning, you know, 6.53 a.m. according to the game clock. Sun's in the middle of the rise. We just slept at the local hotel. Um, unfortunately, I've got a mishap that happened. I had previously tried to record this episode and found out when I got done with it, and I was in the process of trying to edit it to upload it the other day. Um, there was no sound. I literally had recorded the entire video and my mic was muted, disconnected, something like that for the entire video. Um, so, unfortunately we lost all that. Um, I went ahead and just destroyed it, you know, and decided to record another episode. Because, you know, if I'm not talking, if I'm not giving commentary, you know, then I feel some of you guys that watch my videos that are interested, you know, you lose part of the reason you did, uh, want, that you are watching the video. So, I'm in the process of remaking this episode, and I believe it's episode 12, if I've counted right. It's either 12 or 13, I've lost count. Um, but yeah, um, I'm in the process of running down here to pick up the load. Um, I think I've got a gasoline or propane load to go deliver something like that I forgot um, but yeah we're we're on the way to go get it um, the episode that you know got lost I had actually spent some of my money that I had earned up and I have expanded the garage the garage is now a three truck garage um, capable of expansion Ooh, wow pretty view Looks like we got what a tugboat out there. I'm trying to, you know, get the camera where you guys can see, but at the same time, not wreck. Looks like a tugboat right there going up to a great big. Is that a ship or a barge? Oh, I think that's the dock. Whoops. Slow down. San Francisco. Oh, this is our exit. Yeah. That's a lovely view. What's that? A 20 acres for sale. It's a trash pile. Suitable for shopping center. <laughs> yeah, that's a great sign to have over there. Take a look at the map real quick. Where are we at? You know, I probably should jog out here just to explore this thing. You'll get that gas load. That looks like we get to drive out here on the dock. Okay, we're switching camera views just so we can see. That's a massive tugboat over there. All these are huge tugboats. Wow. heavy equipment out here. Okay. We'll cheat backing up too. Just full speed reverse everything we got. How fast will the truck go? I didn't even look at the speed. Oops. Oh, we explored that. 
slow down on the turn. Cool. Glad we got to see that. Almost kissed it. But almost only counts in hand, ho uh, horseshoes and grenades. That's what I was told a lot by friends growing up. You know, if you say it was close, they're like, oh yeah, sure, if we're playing horseshoes or grenades. Okay, looks like the truck tank's going to be back there. I see a little white marker on the right there. Okay. Now we got that. Let's pull it out of slot. Make sure we make wide turns here. Looks like we're going back right where we came from, too. At least part of the way. A little too fast. Come on, truck. You can do it. So that means we gotta go through the toll bridge or toll gate. Yep, sure do. Yes, we do. Ha ha. Whoa, hello. Guess I gotta go through one of the green ones. I don't wanna pay. I don't wanna pay. Twenty-five dollars. Back up on the bridge. So, what's going on in my life? Let's see here. Um, had to go attend a safety meeting for one of the you know companies that my my company services um, they have a service you know their own safety orientation class that you must attend to have access to their facility so I went and did that this morning which you know that delayed me doing my normal work for about two hours and then when I got to work um, you know they were working on some of the mine things I had a a valve that wasn't holding you know like it should you know, when you close it, you know, it's supposed to actually be <laughs> closed. Um, found out, you know, a little, it was leaking by. So, got, they were replacing it while I was at work. Um, but when I got to work and I started doing my, um, what's called a pre-trip inspection, I noticed one of my tires were low. So, I went and dug out my gauge, um, you know, and checked it. And it was down to about 43 PSI, I want to say. Something like that. And I'm missing my exit. Um, no one saw that, did they? Um, so I had to, you know, air it up, come to find out, you know, after I pushed it up to 90 PSI this morning, you know, 90 or 100 is fine for the truck that I drive. Um, later this evening, you know, when I was driving it, you know, I just thought, you know, maybe a valve stem issue or something like that could be it. You never know on a tire um 
I noticed it was looking a little low again, so I checked it again, and I was down to 40 PSI again. Um, so that kind of is going to ruin my Friday, because um, you know the first thing I got to do tomorrow is you know get enough air in it to get it to the tire shop and have them rip down the tire, figure out what's wrong with it. You know, did I pick up a road nail, road spike, however you want to call it? Was there another problem? You know, have it fixed and repaired. Um, so I have no clue how long that's going to take. Um, before I get to start my day tomorrow. And of course, you know, of all days for it to happen, you know, tomorrow's the day that um, me and my fiance are getting our new place. So I was hoping to get, you know, go to go in and work a little early. That way I could get off a little early um, type situation. I didn't really need fuel, but this is where I was supposed to be delivering it anyway. Option one is back it in there. Option two is pull it in there. You know. Let's do it. Let's back it in. Seems I already knows past where I wanted it. Let's pull forward and get a little bit of the swing going. All right. I'm already lined up to hit the hit, hit the hit the sign. Well, okay. I know I'm cheating by using this view, but. Cut hard, cut hard, cut hard. Trailer's already clear of the gas pumps. I really didn't want this view, thank you. Thank you. Get up a little bit of traffic, guys. They're going to accept that. Okay, whatever. If they're going to accept it, I'm not going to argue. It has my delivery bonus. It has class two. Cool. Bonus for parking it. Eh, that was a cheap load. Let's find a good load. You know, don't really care where it's going. Let's change the sort engine here. You know, price per distance going down. So 
I can go back to where I was and pick up another gas load, which is going to be my highest paying one from this town. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. World of trucks loading. Actually, a pretty good screenshot. Oops, don't speed, don't speed. Well, anyhow, like I was saying, you know, with me and my fiance getting the apartment um, tomorrow, I was hoping to get off work a little early. That way I can go there, be there for the signing, that we can, you know, kind of inspect the apartment. Um, make sure that there's no major issues with it. Um, you know, something that I need to, you know, grab the landlord say, hey, you know, don't agree with this. You got to fix that. Um things like that I have already done the signing of the contract so you know my fiance is able to do it without me but you know I didn't want her to have to do everything because um, I have no clue how much how much time is going to be delayed tomorrow with me having to get the truck repaired and then then go do my normal route so it's a little bit of a downside but Unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. Do you do the best I can handle it? At least we get to see this pretty view again later in the day. Where are we actually on the map? 580 in California. Slide through here. First exit. y'all so you're all going to the gas station too oh Come on, turn, 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 turn. I got it. Just like I knew what I was doing. Coupled up. Okay, this time we're going to go under and take a left. So we're heading south. Cool.
Come on, truck. Come on, truck. Oh, it's a heavy load, but you got it. There we go. We're off to Oakland, right? Destination Oakland, Gallon Oil. Apparently no damage to the trailer, which is what we want. Got a little damage on the truck. But we're doing okay. Says we got roughly 85 miles to go for this delivery, so it shouldn't be too, too terribly bad. Till I get caught speeding. Oh, um, got a little surprise when I got to work. Um, good thing about, you know, them actually working on the truck. Like I said, you know, when I got there, he was working on the valve, but what I didn't know was some of the mechanic guys came up there last night after I'd left and they replaced the tachometer in the truck and the cruise control feature and all those work great today. Um, so, you know, at least, you know, I might be complaining a little bit about the job and, you know, with that, but, you know, at least it seems like they're working on stuff. May not be in a timely manner that I'd like because, you know, we all want it now. We're all, uh, we want it now, society. Um, but, you know, it's, it's being worked on, it's being dealt with. So. So I need to come back and go north over that. Okay. I'm just trying to pay attention to mini map about what I have and have not explored yet. Looks like Oakland needs some roads driven. I need like to take a right right there and go into Oakland. They come back out of there, come back the way I'm going now. Need to hang it right here at the top of this and go actually into another part of Oakland, it looks like. Let's look at that on the map. So I need to come in, I need to come out, I need to go out and do the loop under. I need to go in here and do the triangle. And then obviously go where I'm going now, way out there. Again, move your butts. This green car is not that good. Guy, scare me, George. come all the way in here but since I am I'll fix the three percent damage for ooh bad number bad number bad number didn't see that did not see that Go, Tom, you're in my way. I gotta do a way pull out to get out of this.
please tell me I didn't hurt the trailer. I did. Oh, man. I dinged the trailer. That's going to cost a little bit. Let's see, 44 miles to go. Come on, get up to speed. Got another scenic view here through the hills. Let's see, 18 miles to go. Still kind of a little scenic view. So I priced the dealership also um, last episode. And to buy a truck, whether Peterbilt or the Kenworth, the smallest one, the cheapest one I can get is $120,000. You know, because I'm going to have to, you know, buy that for whoever my hired hand becomes. Um, I can't trade this truck in because, you know, then I'll be in that truck. So I have to outright, you know, buy another truck to put the other person in. You know, obviously put them in a smaller truck, not this one that I've upgraded. So hopefully we'll get some money saved up here. This load right here should be, it was supposed to be 6000 but with me having that little fender bender, I'm at just barely beat might just barely make six thousand oh lovely it's another gas station one I'm back in here, just wait your turn. Honk all you want. You want to honk? See, I can honk too.
So I did make over 6,000, and that's because I did the extra... I did the extra dent, extra stuff of backing up. Oh, I actually didn't get paid extra for that. I just got proficiency bonus, level 16. So that helped me out. So that brings us up to $48,000. You know, we got another, I'm going to say 40000 just before we can get our driver. So I'll keep working on this, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Texas Star. This has been American Truck Simulator. You're watching. Please hit that share, like, and subscribe button, guys. It is how I do grow my channel. It's how, also how you get information about when I release my next video. Hopefully, I can get my schedule line backed out and quit making mistakes when I'm recording videos and get them out better on time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.